God damn, Jazz, y'all had one job. Y'all had one job. Just win the game. Beating Titans. Get into the playoff, but no, 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 no. No, you had to lose. Not only you you lost, you let the Bills get into the playoffs. They ain't got nothing to worry about. And you let my Steelers get in. Who is probably going to get blown out. No matter who they play. But hey, you know, don't disrespect the terrible towels. You learn your lesson. Anyway, the Steelers on Saturday, yesterday, took care of business against the Ravens who sat out Lamar Jackson like they should. 17 to 10. Wasn't pretty, as always, like a, like every other Steelers game. And it was raining, which I thought that was going to give Mason Rudolph some trouble. But hey, he actually played well again. Tells you a lot about Kenny Pickett. Man, you're gonna have to uh you're gonna have to really learn read defense and learn how to throw the ball more accurate. Down the field, you better learn how to be a pocket passer as well. Because man, you lose it to Mason Rudolph. You losing your job to Mason Rudolph. Mason Rudolph. You know, that's that's never good. But nevertheless, let's look at the stats. Mason Rudolph, 18 for 20, 152 yards, one TD. A strike to Deontay Johnson. Look, I can I can say every bad thing about Mason Rudolph. Like I said, I'm not I'm not on this bad wagon. I'm not I'm not on the Mason Rudolph bad wagon like everybody else. I'm just gonna give him his props when he played well. And he did. That's right to Deontay Johnson. It just like man. Like, come on, Kenny. Like, for real. The man throwing strikes. But Mason Rudolph has always been a pretty good pocket passer. And he got patience in the pocket. Right? Patient enough to let the offense run. Let the receiver run their routes. Give it time to develop and then make it a play. Something that Kenny, like I said, needs to work on. But nevertheless, I'm not going to talk about Kenny Pickett no more. But Like I said, Mason Rudolph, what can I say? I'm going to give you props, man. Like, you played a well game managing game yesterday. Nothing else I can say on that. Let's keep it moving. Najee Harris, 26 of 112 yards, one TD. Y'all want to trade Najee Harris? Y'all sure y'all y'all sure y'all still want to do that? Ah, uh, you want to trade him to John John to Taylor? I'm just making sure, cause man, when he was struggling, y'all were really on him. Now you being quiet. That's crazy. And here's another thing I don't like about some Steelers fans. They love to cheer for a player to spite another player that they don't like. From Joe Gillum to Terry Bradshaw. Hey, I could say Chris Redmond to Roger Menhall. Menhall, I mean. They did it with Duck to Mason when he was struggling. They did it with Juju to Martavis Bryant. I ain't go further. I can say that. They even did it with Mike Tom, Tom's at to Neil Donald when he was struggling. Now they're doing it with Mason to Kenny Pickett. Last year, it was Kenny Pickett to Mitch Trudewski. That's why I don't listen to people online. Who cares what they think? They have the logic of 1 plus 1 equals 5. And... Instead of getting arguing with them people online, I'm like, hey man, if you think one plus one you can find, hey, cool, cool man, have fun. Because I ain't got time for this garbage. I'm telling you, man, social media is something else, man. And I don't like the Stiller fans, some of the Stiller fans on there. They drive me nuts. But anyway, let's move forward. Jalen Warren, 9 for 33. Two fumbles. 
again, y'all wanna, uh, y'all still think about trading Najee Harris? Y'all still wanna do that? You sure? Okay. I was just making sure. Let's, let's be moving forward because I ain't got all day to stay on here. Let's go with receiver. Deontay Johnson, four for 89. Four catches for 89 yards, one TD. Pat Fomu, two for 21. Nigel Harris, five for 21. No George Pickens, which cannot happen. This cannot happen into the playoffs. You're going to have to get him the ball. The team that they are going to face in the playoffs, whether it be Buffalo or Kansas City, they are going to shut, try to shut George Pickens down. That's when the offensive coordinator need to come up with a plan to get George Pickens more involved with the passing, with the passing game. This cannot happen. Right? Let's move forward with the defense now. Eric Rowe, 12 tackles. Like I say, he's been very impressive. Now, here's another reason why I'm not I'm not liking the still the chances in the playoffs. I'm be I ain't gonna lie to you. This is like the worst the worst predicament for them. Not only you're in the playoffs, you're gonna be in the playoffs without TJ Watt, who just on the news a couple hours ago, he suffered an MCL strain, a grade two. He's gonna be out for a couple of games. Hell, he might not even be the same. So if I'm the Steelers, do you even attempt to let him play? Man, we... <laughs> hey, this is what you wanted, right? You want the Steelers in the playoffs? Well, you got it. Person, I didn't want them to go into the playoffs. I ain't think we got it. I don't think they had a chance going into the playoffs, even with a healthy TJ Watt. But we're going to find out soon. We are going to find out real soon. Uh, Mark Robinson, five tackles. Miles Kilbrew, who just got on the Pro Bowl for special team specialist, which congratulations to him. Played well also, four tackles. Miles Jacks, three tackles. Out of the hospital, hey man, it's time to step up now. If the Steelers are going to win, in this playoff game, the defense, the defense got to show up. They have to. I don't think they will. So, this concludes this video. Still, have finished the season ten and seven, like I predicted in my prediction. Ten and seven, but I did not expect the Steelers to go. If it's 10 to 7 like this, not at all. Not, not with Mason Rudolph as the starting quarterback. Never. So, there's no wrap up video in this one. Going to have to wait till next week. Or we got the next, if somehow still the win. But, a uh, quick channel update. Uh, I am going to try to get some Destiny videos up this week. Um, if not, the, the upcoming video that's coming on tomorrow is probably going to be the last one for a while. And then I'm going to take a short break. Probably a long break. But still the videos will still be at least one more time. One more time. It still doesn't, doesn't, doesn't win. I'm going to do a wrap up video on that, on the Steelers and their season. But other than that, like if you like, dislike if you dislike, and I'll see you guys next time. My lord, the Steelers are in the playoff. Jax, you had one job. Couldn't do it. Don't disrespect the terrible towels. Lesson learned.